Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time for more Hearts of Iron 3. So, bad news from the Soviet front all around. Uh, we've pretty much lost a lot right now. Uh, the complete surround and surrender of the entire United Kingdom and American Expeditionary Forces proved uh, pretty close to fatal blow at this point. I see things are going well here. Not really. Oh, good. Resistance cells seem to be doing okay. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, Middle East still isn't doing great. And again, neither are we here, so... It's going to be a lot of work if we're going to somehow pull back this... I'd say Poland's about ready to fall as well. Yeah, you get the AI. Alright. Kludge, what have you got? Alright, you're getting full control of everything. You attach to the first army. You guys have got to win at any cost. Who needs reinforcements? Six corps? Six corps gets reinforcements then. You aren't moving. No, you're just cut off, oh dear. And not moving. Well, alright, looks like we're getting you back. I don't know why they're just sitting there. Soviet Union is now enforced conquer on Poland. I don't know if we'll be able to scramble in time to stop the Soviets. I'm trying to think. Can we encircle this? Like, can this become a giant encirclement? Maybe. Iffy. McCreary's coming, alright. He's bringing in troops. Not many, but... Any port in a storm and all that. Beggars can't be choosers, and... Really, I'll just take anything I can get at this point. It... This nuclear reactor is draining most of my IC, unfortunately. It's not looking good. I don't want to put it on hold, because... We're gonna need nukes. We're gonna need nukes very soon. Alright. Attack pilot advanced training, yada yada yada. Alright, what do we got here? Um Still good stuff. We've unfortunately lost a lot. Okay, strategic rocket development's just about done. Lost a lot of our leadership, as we're now losing vast quantities of our homeland. Alright, I think we've fallen back far enough that we can uh, engage in a new counterattack. Uh, switch to an attacking stance. You have a go for a full attempt at an attack. We need to push back right now. You know how I know? The Soviets have been for a while in an extreme deficit of manpower. Now... I needed some time to recover, and that's what this whole withdraw thing has been for me. Because a lot of my troops were getting low on organization, they were getting low on strength. We had several breaks during the retreat because it was poorly done, because I mostly left it up to the AI like an idiot. I admit this. Um, and, as a result, well, you know, it didn't go so well. But, this does mean that... Uh, We've been seeing, thanks to the work of my bombers, among other things, that there are quite a few under-enforced Soviet brigades. They are just simply weak. And ripe for the taking. Uh, Wowie. Actually, don't have anyone to attach it to right now. Alright. Twelfth Corps. Attach to the First Army. Get whatever the heck we can off the production line. Unfortunately... Under no circumstances. Alright. The flying bomb, very important technology. 16th of September. Yeah, we can ditch agriculture and civil nuclear research. Perfect. Alright. 
At this point, we just need the nuclear reactor. Which will be ready this December. Now, the reason the flying bomb is important is because you can use it to do deliver nuclear strikes. Fairly cheaply. But at this point, I mean, eh, the range of the flying bomb isn't great. Like I said, it's more for ICBMs than anything else. Alright, do we have anything unassigned? Yeah. Theater forces, that looks about right. Immediate needs. Attacking stance. We are confident in pushing the enemy back when attacking. That's good. I like this battle assessment. We need rare materials. There's got to be a supplier. Fortunately, it looks like, uh, you know, Japan. Hmm. Well, the resistance cells didn't last long. But I think we're winning in the Middle East now. It's tough to say. I think I'm managing to launch a full-scale counterattack, and it's starting to work. We're getting a hold of things. We're harder, not smarter. I disagree. Like I said, working towards strategic rocket development may not be the great thing right now. Nuclear program, definitely still important. Uh, strategic rocket development and stuff, maybe not, though. We need to prioritize. Oh dear. Come on, press it. Thankfully, uh, this renewed uh, construction of units, I think, is helping to give me a pretty decent advantage. Seriously, we need this nuclear reactor. It's the only one we need. It's all we need. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Don't have much of a choice. It's all we need to kickstart the nuclear program is a single freaking reactor. I have to put it, like, in Athens or something. Keep it protected. Oh, I bet you anything I know a thing. So you notice how this front area is now pretty deserted? I have a feeling it's because they all had to run down here. Or are in process of running down here. Because I know uh, the Russian theater makeup. There's a theater up here. There's the mid-theater, Stavka, which is the main we're fighting. And then there's a theater over here for the Urals. Um, that was probably the part of my problem was I ran into a second Russian theater. That was also probably not the best way to handle things, but the AI I mostly left on the autopilot because, let's face it, I can't hope to manage this. Well, welcome to my airfields, I suppose. Entire conflict. Hmm. Okay, carry on. Okay. We're still spread pretty thin, though. Unfortunately, that's because I can only spare so much for uh, this right now. Uh, drop lend lease, obviously. Just get that down as fast as possible. Good. Technologies are rolling through. As much as I uh, enjoy cruiser-related things, we are not building a navy. The whole navy thing, I'm pretty certain, got called off at this point. So we're going to have to call that off, I'm afraid. Which is fine, at least for now. We're bleeding out officers, so let's get some extra officers in here. We're down 127%. It's fine so long as we're above 100%, but I'm still producing more ground units, so we're going to need more officers to constantly re re uh, refuel ourselves here. The good news is, it looks like we might manage to get an encirclement. I want to see this whole region taken. Right now. Go. Push for it. And 
circle and circle and circle. They have units out here. If we take, if we get the encirclement, which it looks like we have. Yep, yeah, that's done. That's an encirclement, everybody. Boom. Suddenly, that'll hurt them a little bit. Unfortunately, they're progressing elsewhere in a lot of ways. And other parts are starting to stall, unsurprising. 12th Corps needs reinforcements. They'll get it then. Everyone still connected here? Excellent. Yeah, this region's deserted, I think, because every soldier is now reporting to the Middle East. Because I think we're actually starting to win here again. Good. I managed to get enough forces there. Luckily, once this encirclement clears up, we will be able to start pushing back into Poland. Unfortunately, conquered. By the Soviets. No, well, these things happen, I suppose. Okay. We've got to hold on here. We've got to keep pushing out troops, and we've just got to hold on. December 7th, we get the nuclear reactor, and then we can start the nuclear program. And WMDs are in possibility. I mean, it's going to be pretty easy for us to drop bombs on Moscow. I doubt that'll do much. Uh, I'm pretty certain their national unity probably through the roof. Only 76%. How disappointing. Alright. Perhaps a d level of espionage into here would be useful. I could start hurting their friggin' national unity a bit. Let's see. Throw it all into espionage instead. Let's try and get spies working. That's right, how many spies are we producing? Two a day? Something like that? Close to? Okay. Radar guided missiles, finally. Oof. That'll be useful. Assuming these tack bombers ever get to work again. Probably won't, but. Twelve tactical bombers. Four. Three groups. One, two, three, four. Oops. The decently aligned ones. Filtering out the shit and sending it to the back. These guys also pretty awful. We're gonna send them farther back. For recovery. On the other hand though, you know. You guys, feel free to go at it. If anyone can, it's you. Good. Light tank guns ye ahead. That's what I like to hear. So, now we'll slowly be able to start reintroducing the idea of having cruiser techs. I had to put them on hold for a little bit. It sucks, but... A lot of our stuff is about to start finishing now. So, it's looking okay. Alright, we are barely covering this front, if you call this coverage. This region, uh, we've managed to actually get coverage on, though. So hopefully we can press them back. Boom, 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 boom. Just keep on throwing them down. Throw them down. Well, what do we got here? Intel suggests... Okay, that's far off. That's... God, that's terrible. I mean, National Unity 65. We know, we know spies are never particularly accurate. Alright. Uh, we're gonna throw... Not that much in espionage. That's acceptable. Uh, the trade AI needs additional diplomatic stuff as well. So we have a little left over for officers. I noticed that they, we'd run out of diplomatic influence, and I want the AI to continue proposing trade to try and uh, get us more rare materials if possible. So we shall continue that. Do 
I keep bombing. We're starting to press them back, I think. Who knows, maybe this wide front and me splitting up uh, did good. I think it's because the uh, Soviets have redirected a lot of their troops to the Middle East again. To try and fight them back there. Because I'm seeing a lot fewer troops on the front. So it makes sense. You guys you need a home? You're with the 12th Corps now. Go. You guys need a home? Nope. Alright. You guys need a home? 12th Corps needs it. Up to four, all right. Slowly get, starting to get ourselves back together. That's what I like to see. You guys have just been sitting there fine. Dandy the whole damn time. Okay, more research possible. Yes, well, it's fine. Okay. Good. And it's coming up on December 7th, everybody. We're about ready to jumpstart the nuke program. Oop. Mechanical competing machine, that's fine. Drop it. It's going to improve research efficiency by another 2%, which is always appreciatable. And uh, this is going to drop, increase by another 5%. Also very useful. December 2nd. Thanks, Belgium and Turkey. I hate you all. Canceling trade agreements, goddammit. Okay. Appears we're losing out in the north again. Yeah. Strategically relocating along the front. Alright, nuclear reactor. As I suggested, we'll put it in Athens. And we're immediately going to start developing nuclear bomb production. We already have six to it, which is really nice. Uh, each reactor you have gets you a little bit, which, which is great. Um, it's a way to increase the rate which you can get bombs. Where is the C bomb? I think it's production. Here it is. Yes. We lack the technological power to do it. So while we may have nuclear bomb making, until we have the first level of the nuclear bomb technology, we don't actually start producing them. So... December 29th. Wait, really? That fast, huh? Damn, son. I mean, I know it's out of date, but still. Maybe we need to make more nuclear reactors. Build time's down to 126. Wow, it was negative 25% more. That's almost reasonable. I got something I could see myself doing soon. We'll see, though. You lost, you are. Twelfth Corps needs you. You guys lost? Yeah. How about you guys? You guys, yep. Well, you three, congratulations. You're now the new Third Corps. Hook you up to the First Army. Okay, go. Third Corps shattered. Not good. Shattering is bad. We are reinforcing properly, right? Good. Good. Yeah. There's the forces from the Middle East. Hopefully that will, you know, bring a little strain off the front. The nuclear bomb. Looks like we'll have it for the new year. Chris, this always goes by a lot faster than you think it does, because all of these are ranked 10 for difficulty on technologies. Yet they require so few tech points, just like, oh. Huh. Lovely. We have a pile of elections. Good to know. Um, bad news, you just screwed up everything. Uh, Alright, let's start with you. Nope. You. Nope. Where, where's the guy? You? Yes, you. For leadership bonus, organization regain rate. Eh, yeah, you know what? We had the guns and butter doctrine before. I oh, know yeah, it was down here. Uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Medium bomber practical decay. Thank you. Yeah, that just keeps going up. I have a bunch of spies raising it. 
If I had a look, see, I'd wager anything that it's the that it's the UK or something. They love to do that sort of stuff. There we are. Got some proper uh, ministers back in there. Seventy-four point five percent. All right. Well, it's not looking too great. But the number of units we are now producing has just increased significantly. That's what's important. And coming up in a few days, the nuclear program is about to begin. One. That's nuclear bomb making, everybody. Throw that up in there as well. If we can. Okay, so we now have nuclear bomb, which gets us, you know, that. It's it's not much, but it's something. We now produce 0.10 nuclear bombs every month. That's it. The only way to get nuclear bomb making is to act, which allows us to research this tech faster. This will be done 19th of January, so yeah. In 10 months, less than, we'll, we're probably actually going to be looking towards having a nuke in about 6 to 7 months. I'm thinking at this point. Yeah. And we're the first one to get it, too. No one's been really uh, invested heavily in the nukes this game. Not that I blame them. There's been a lot of weird things going on. Third Corps needed it? Sure thing. And like I said, I'm mostly concerned with producing about as many uh, new divisions as physically possible. If nothing else, we just need it to cover front space. Anyway, that's going to end today's episode. Uh, I'm not certain if we've gained or lost ground. Uh, it's kind of iffy. All I know for certain is... Hey, the Philippines. They've been liberated. I don't know too much about the state of the Pacific theater, though. It's not looking great. And I think the Middle East is starting to turn around and become a stalemate sort of situation, which is good. It's an improvement. The Soviets will not uh, die, though, unfortunately. They are proving much harder to fell than I anticipated. Mostly because we lost all of our allies' forces. If we still had those forces, I guarantee you right now we'd be in Moscow. But oh well. Thank you everybody for watching. As always, there we are. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Galvin. Ditch that. Signing off.